Hey everybody, Stacy Cochran here, and I am going to try to create a project for film out of thin air. The idea I have is to practice meditation at multiple locations and do a quick before and after of each session. So I've gotten into doing transcendental meditation the past few months every morning for 20 minutes. And so I thought it would be interesting to see if this project can take hold through the process and practice of exercising meditation. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll stop the camera in just a moment, and I'll do a 20 minute silent sit off camera. And then I'll reflect back after 20 minutes how I feel. And then the objective is going to be to do that in different locations around Tucson and Southern Arizona and see what emerges from this creative project. All right, so it's been a little over 20 minutes and the first thing that I noticed was just how much in the first 10 minutes I was filled with self doubt, self-criticism, the idea that even doing this project is unnecessary and unentertaining. And then about 12 minutes in, something really fascinating happened. I noticed a shift in my thinking towards encouraging thoughts because I recognized during that first 10 minutes, all of this self-doubt about expectations, about what a film should be, what we've been conditioned to feel that a story should consist of. And then around 12 minutes, I recognized all of that is conditioned. All of it is learned. And it was making me feel bad because I wasn't living up to the internalized perception of what a film should be. So then a fascinating thing happened. I started recognizing that and I started encouraging myself. And the thoughts were centered on encouraging and self-actualization. And then I began thinking about where I would want to film, why I would want to film, what locations, what I would say. And then towards the end of the 20 minute session just now, I began to recognize the connection between me and you, whoever is going to be watching this. And the need for an exchange that's fair and reasonable and meets your expectations. And then I started thinking about, well, why do I need to do that? Why do I need to say and be anything other than what I am? To meet some illusion in my mind of a perception of someone who I can't even picture right this moment. And so the entire construct of trying to make a movie what it should be, what I might say, how worthy it is, how stupid it is. All of that began to dissolve for just a moment. So I'm excited to see where I go next. And I thank you for engaging with me. It's two hours past the last meditation back at my house, and I'm here in Sabino Canyon. I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety, although I'm kind of happy too. 
at the moment. Anxiety probably because of the perception that I have of the performance of this. So let's do a 20 minute meditation and see how I feel afterwards. All right, so I've just completed the second 20 minute silent sit of today. This one here in Sabino Canyon. And a couple of things that I noticed were that I was really overcome with a lot of self-doubt in the opening six minutes. It was a continuation of the thought that I had before I even began the silent sit, primarily that this concept of doing a video about meditation is by its very nature performative. And I had a lot of doubt about that. And I was like, why am I even doing this? It's kind of strange. This isn't particularly entertaining. And yet I'm making this video for you people that will be watching this, that I don't even know who you are. And so I was just overcome with a lot of self-doubt, again. And then around six minutes, a hiker passed on the other side of the stream, and I noticed a shift in my thinking towards encouraging thoughts. And from that point forward for about the next 10 minutes, that's really where my thinking kind of centered. But I didn't have any profound insight. I didn't have any particular breakthrough. And I noticed after about 10 minutes of that kind of positive thinking, I was overcome with a tremendous moment of despair. I worried that I couldn't have some sort of insight. I worried that life is meaningless. I worried that my existence and this video and everything that I amount to is pointless. And it was like a heavy weight that sort of sat on me. And I accepted that and I sat with it for a few minutes, acknowledging the thought. I even thought I welcomed this moment of despair. And then after a few minutes, of embracing that kind of darkness, that kind of despair. I thought about the absurdity of life. And at that point, I thought it would be amusing to actually go into the water, which is about 55 degrees. So towards the end of the meditation, I didn't necessarily have any profound insight but I did seek, perhaps, the amusement of life. And I suppose if there's any point in this moment as I'm trying to make sense of what I'm doing right now, it is that, to be amused, to be grateful. So I'm gonna step into the water where it is about 55 degrees.